Hello. Oh my gosh, I can't see chat. You guys are frozen. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. I am looking like a human today, huh? Hi guys, how's it going? Oh, it's hot. Happy Movie Monday on a Wednesday. Hello. I found my, oh, what are you guys doing? Come back over here. Why are you guys spinning? Um, I found my gimbal. It's being kind of funky though. I wonder if it's uncalibrated. Hi. How are you guys? Okay, I think we can start walking because we're not super close. I should get, you know what I gotta do first though? I have a little extension for my gimbal because it's not very long. How you guys doing? How's your Wednesday? I gotta put this on there or else my, I've been working out and my arms are sore. So holding a gimbal up is, is a little bit of time. Okay, there we go, it's a little better. It is hot out here, boys. Eating a day old in and out burger. Oh, wow. That sounds bad, even if it wasn't day old. If it was just day, like, fresh. Not an in and out kind of gal. Whew, okay, I think I'll go this way. You have a final presentation. It went well. Nice. This is big. This is big for us. Um, so, we are going to find another Eggs Benedict. I already have a place. Where is the movie? What do you mean? What movie? Where is what movie? Got my truck back from the shop so good now. Huge. This is big for us. Movie Monday? Wait, what do you mean movie Monday? Oh, did the go live notice say? Ah, oh, I keep forgetting that I can't change the go live notice from this app. Fuck. It's not Movie Monday. I need to, like, somebody remind me next time we do Eggs Benedict stream. Because, yeah, this app, it just sends out the stream, but I can't change the go live noti. Oh, God. Just sneak us in the movies? That's embarrassing. I mean, I guess the fact that it's not Monday kind of is Sam's life is a movie. Yeah, we're doing Movie Monday every Monday, I guess. Finished the 72 hour work yesterday, so it feels like I haven't seen the stream in months big. This is big for us. Oh, it's hot, guys. I'm sorry. Very warm. Um, I'll try and remember. Yeah, because what I have to do, I'm going to sit down for a second. What I have to do, because I'm going to go into the place, but I want to just catch up with you guys, is uh, I have to go into my Twitch app. And then once it sends out the go live noti, I can't like resend it out, you know? I'm doing it again. Yep. This is like the Truman Show. Is it though? Guys, I found my gimbal. You wanna know where I found my gimbal? Um, I don't know why it was in here, but the center console of my car, that's where my gimbal was. And that is not a place that got cleaned out by the deep cleaner when I got my car back. So it's kind of like no man's land in there. Um, yeah, it was in my car. I went and checked in my car. I just didn't, I don't really use the center console of my car. So I don't really think that it was in there. Yeah. It does make sense, but I don't remember putting it in there. I must, I must have done it. Honestly, what probably happened is it was hot because it's been hot in LA. So I got done with the last IRL stream and then I put it in the center console. I don't, I don't remember doing that, but whatever. Cars have center consoles. Yeah. What do you mean? Not, the deep, not that deep of a clean. No, I want to go get it professionally cleaned again. We talked about this before, but like when he did it, it was fine. But then as time has gone on, I've noticed some like, I don't know. Just, and, uh, just, it, there's, it's, there's some mold happening. The center console is where you plug in the PlayStation 5. Yep. 
That's true. Find any, no, no extra goodies in the center console. I don't think. There's always a chance that like a panel of the car, you know, like he pulled it back and put something back there. I'm really worried about like, if somebody were to bring like a drug dog into my car because there's so many places that somebody could hide it that I haven't looked and I ha have no reason to look, but would be there. And it's having a large center console. Mine's not really large. Mine is annoying because I have to use Bluetooth to attach my phone to my car and the Bluetooth is shit. And it's bad and it's delayed and it's awful. And there's a place to plug a cord into the center console and um, I that will plug it into the radio. So hypothetically, if I plug my phone into the center console, I can play music and I don't have to worry about the Bluetooth. But it doesn't read my phone because my phone's too new, I think. You would be able to tell them your car was stolen, what happened, and it would be on the record. Hypothetically, right? But also, cops. For real time, I don't know if you're talking about how you're worried about a drug dog sniffing your car is good to talk about in public. I mean, what's somebody to do? Walk up and be like, this lady was talking to a phone about a hypothetical situation. Yeah. Does you when they deep clean if they don't dry it well enough after mold grows? Well, I 100% know that's what happened because, and this is kind of on me, but like I got it cleaned in, I don't know, it was like February, March when I got my car back. March probably. And it wasn't really like warm in LA yet. And so he came and he cleaned it. It had been raining. He came and he cleaned it. And then it just sat in my parking garage because it wasn't sunny. And then, and like three days after I got my car cleaned, it was a little bit sunny. So I took it out and I rolled the windows down and I locked the car up and I let it sit outside. But yeah. This lady has drugs. She must be rad as hell. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you underestimate the casualty of, uh, uh, drugs in LA. Ready, partner? This is hot, you should be good for it to immediately. Yeah, now it'd be fine, but I also, I had a guy come to my house because I was too embarrassed to get in my car and drive it anywhere. Um, so now that it's like, you know, livable, like obviously I'm driving it, I can drive it to a place because I just can't imagine that somebody that comes out and cleans your car can do as good of a job as somebody that you like take it to because they have the facilities. No, I'm not waiting to be seated. I just am sitting outside. Like, I just wanted to like get stream going and stuff. The place is like right next door. But I also feel like a dumbass with the gimbal. So I am burning time. Just wanted to look like a crazy person for a second. Yeah, I just wanted to sit and talk about drugs. Hello, Abby. Is it hot outside? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it is hot. It's, I think, uh, let's see what we're looking at right now. It is 88 degrees, which is actually cooler than it has been. It's supposed to be like high 80s and 90s this week, which is uh, kind of cool. Testing Benny than Dine dashing. Nope, that's, I can't do that. Um, what did you guys do today? Did I already ask you guys that? Hi, Harry. Thank you for the 37 months. Sorry the alerts don't work. I cannot figure this app out. See, I can put chat on screen sometimes. But also sometimes it doesn't work. Um, Gimbal is the guy who holds the phone. Yeah. Yeah, I have a guy named Gimbal that I hired to hold the phone. Have you had your borax today? No, what? Hi, Kev. Adam, you probably could. I'm enjoying the nice weather by the lake. Ooh, that's big. This is good. This is big for you. Love that. Have a good lake day. I don't know if there's any lakes in Los Angeles. Probably not. Play the clip with the bear. Okay, we could uh, go inside now, I think. Or at least go... I don't know if I have to put my name on a list or anything, but I can at least walk up there with my gimbal and like get it over with, you know? Maybe in a embarrassment content creator. I don't think I've had Eggs Benedict before. I had it like kind of recently for the first time and it was really good. And then I was like, seems like a food that 
LA would have a lot of places. I, I don't know. I just was talking to Chad about it and I was like, guys, it's really good. You should try it. And then I was like, I will take you. I will take you. Okay. Um, let me... This is cute, actually. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, I do not know where I go in. Okay, John, I might hold you down lower so I don't feel like a dummy. I think I just order at the counter and then I take it outside. Is it just order and then see myself? Okay, do you have a menu? Oh, I'm gonna look at a menu for a sec. Chad, I'm gonna sit down and look at a menu real quick. If I can decide. Because it's like a, uh, it's like a order and then you go sit down kind of thing and I want to sit outside. I love the ceiling in here. Yeah, it's a good ceiling. Um, well, Obviously, we don't have to look at the menu for very long. Just a reminder again to get extra sauce. True, Hannah. True. So true. Okay. Um, so they have the garden eggs benedict, which is poached eggs with spinach and tomato. Um, open face, which is poached egg with ham and arugula. Ooh, that sounds good. Crab cake. I don't think I want that. Short rib. Mm. I kind of want to get the open face one. It's got arugula on it. And then served with hollandaise on toasted egg muffin. Ch choice of roasted potatoes or fresh fruit. Ooh. That baby. Oh, fucking Christ. All right. I gifted. Really neat. Appreciate it. Thank you. I hate that. I hate that so much. Thank you. Thank you for the five gifties, Pepe. That's really nice. Can you orange me an orange juice, please? Yeah, I can. Oh, let's see what kind of coffee they have. I can't remember if I liked the potatoes when I got them at the place I think you're at. Um, fresh fruit kind of sounds better anyways. I don't know about you. But if it's the place that you told me about, Abby, I'm not there. I want a mocha. Can you do an ice mocha? A white chocolate mocha. This is big. They have all the things that I like. Um, music is slamming. Dude, having a place that the music is not fucking... It's so great. Okay, I'm gonna go... Or, but I'm taking you guys with me. You're coming with me. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Fucking do it. Hi. Can I get the open face Benedict and then can you do an ice white mocha? Actually, open face Benedict is a breakfast. We have it on the tour. We don't have it at this time. Oh, uh, what time is that over? Right? Do you guys do any eggs Benedict at this time? Uh, no eggs Benedict. We have it like a burrito. We can make it some breakfast for uh, the next week. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna look yes. at the menu. Thanks. Guys, we have a code red. We have a code red. And the code red is that I miss breakfast time and they don't have eggs Benedict right now. This is not good. Code red. Hold on, let me open chat so I can see you guys are Um. No, I'm just thinking for the five dollars. Abort, abort, panic. Do not panic. We're panicking. No eggs alert. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Shortest IRL stream ever. Well, I could look and see if there's anything else around here. I don't have a way to put you guys in my car. I would have to just set you on the seat, which is not great. Um, I can go home and play only up. <laughs> Tell them you're huge stream. Really. <laughs> Be like, no, 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 you don't understand. You guys don't understand. Um, run out of the place screaming eggs Benedict. 
call an audible. What if I just door dash Ace Benedict to here from somewhere else? We can all be passenger princess for a hot minute. I can help if you need, might be able to find a new one. Yeah, that'd be great actually. One that uh, is still serving breakfast. I have other options, but I just need to look. This could be the most adventurous stream that we've ever done. We may have to go for a car ride. Um, okay, hold on, let me pull up the list because I had somebody send me a couple of them. So let me see if I can find... Um, yeah, Abby, if you could help me. Okay, this other place is closing soon. They're closing at... Uh, 2.30? Oh yeah, 2.30, that's too soon. We'll know it if you don't use your blinker in the car, if you take us with you. <laughs> no. Uh, the adventure will end up at a Denny's. If we end up at a Denny's for the Eggs Benedict stream, I will scream. I will scream. Dug Dug Food Challenge, wicked Dug Dug Food Challenge, but me solo, but it's just me trying to find an Eggs Benedict. <laughs> um, I bet Denny's does have Eggs Benedict. I know a place that's right next to where you're at. I don't know how the eggs pennies are. It doesn't matter, Adam. At this point, we're just trying to salvage it. If you want to text me the address, then please do. Do McDonald's have eggs benedicts? No, but you know what McDonald's has is uh, fish filet, which we have yet to do that. Go to Waffle House. They don't have Waffle House in LA. Trust me, I wanted to. I wanted that. Um, she's a hero, totally she's basically that I love her non-parasocially. Hearts, hearts. Let Abby cook. Abby's cooking. She's cooking in my DMs right now. We're gonna make this happen. We can always Uber too. That's not the worst idea. Uh, okay. Okay, wait. We might have a solution. Mm, okay. This is big for us, chat. We're gonna go on a walk. Okay, we're going on a walk. We have found another place to go. And we're moving. Oh, which means we have to walk a little bit, but that's fine because I have chat and I have batteries and I have everything that I need and I've been hitting the gym, so. My legs are just absolutely yoked. Um, okay, let me open this back up. Can't wait to get on the road again. We're not driving, we're walking, which is good. Let me, it's actually, this is actually kind of convenient. Egg hunts. Stop it. Stop it. I have to put you guys in my left hand. Well, that, uh, that place looked like it was going to be really great, and I'm disappointed. We'll just have to get up earlier next time. Okay, Adam, enjoy. What time did they stop? Um, I think he said 12, I'm pretty sure. Which sucks, but what do you do? It's my fault for not getting up and doing it early enough. That's on me. I could get up and I could be responsible, but it didn't happen. I can't, I can't see you guys at all. Like I can see chat on my phone, but when I say I can't see you guys, I mean I can't see me. Uh, might be able to find a place if you take a good crack at it. God damn it, guys. Son of a bitch. Well, I, that place was really cute. I would like to go back there. I want to go back there at some point because it was, it was really cute. Um, I just don't know what time. I think, what? Wait, what? Abby, what are you double checking? Might be brunch on weekends. Okay. Thank you. 
go to Adams. The place we said is only weekends. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, hold on. Let me sit down real quick. Hold on. Hold on. We're... All right, hold on, chat. We might be taking another, we might be diverting again. Okay, hold on. We're rerouting, we're rerouting. Uh, okay. Okay. This is good, I think, because I can just keep going the way that I'm... Okay, we're gonna be walking for a bit. <laughs> Not too long, not too bad. A little, a little hot, little 15 minute walk. Okay, I think, I think now, I think now we might be on the road. <laughs> Calculating? The red 40 die right about, what do you mean? God, my arms are so sore. Pepe, thank you for the gifty. 100 feet down, three miles to go, yeah. Ugh. Adam and I trying to have a single coherent thought. Well, luckily there's places like near me, so I don't have to get in the car and drive. It's good. You guys are doing your best. That's a cute red door. Oh. Sam walking all of LA this stream. If it was like 10 degrees cooler, I wouldn't care. Also, I like I think that all of LA looks the same. So right now as far as i know i'm over by that small place that we had the hair in which i don't think is true but i need to put my hair up sim dude i can't even see that there's no alert you guys want the rocket huh all right give me the rocket hold on let me give you the rocket Hey guys, sandwich here. Just wanting to say thank you for the gifted subs. Um, really appreciate it. Really glad that I don't have to be one of those streamers that does something degrading or embarrassing to show you guys that I appreciate um, your financial support. Thanks. Oh. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Ugh. LA is weird because you get all of these businesses that are like tucked into okay I see the place that I originally was gonna go which is great but we're not going there looking for eggs benedict is degrading stop stop it you stop your negativity Abby god damn it Abby Hey Abby, um, I appreciate you helping me try to find a place to go get eggs benedicts and also thank you for five gifties who are simply out of this world. Thank you. <sighs> Did it. It's, it's done. Thank you. Thank you for the five gifties, Abby. I appreciate it. Good chow. <laughs> Not hit me with the good chow. I want to go to like a salon and get my hair cut. I'm having the hardest time finding somebody to cut my hair in LA because I'm so picky. And I also am impulsive, so I don't want to wait two months to go to somebody that's good. But I don't want to go immediately to somebody that's bad. Going live? We are live. Yeah, we've had a bit of a bumpy start, but that's okay. We're walking now. We're good. I'm just hot. I can time out Abby or I die in game. Oh yeah, no you can't, she's got immunity. Sorry, sorry. Go to Supercuts, oh no. If I did, it would have to be for like the bit. I couldn't possibly stand to do it. Oh man, okay, we're still walking. How far, how far are we? Okay, 11 minutes, we've got 11 minutes now. Hopefully this is walking and not driving. Yeah, no, that's that's good. It's only a mile away. We're good. 
Now I'm crossing the street. I'm not gonna get hit by a car. Also, Morgo, hello, how are you? You did a good job on John's hair. Yeah, I cut John's hair. He wanted like a wolf cut, which I've heard about. I think the name is stupid because it makes it seem like just anything other than what it is. But he gave him a wolf cut, which is basically just a lot of layers. And um, yeah, I think it looks fine. I don't know. I, it's, yeah. That's so lesbian coded of him. <laughs> it, uh, I told him that he was getting curtain bangs and he was like, huh? And I was like, just shut up. But my thing is, I don't ever do haircuts for free. I do do haircuts for free, but uh, I usually make people buy me food. So I didn't buy me canes which is good. I love canes. Can I get a haircut via sandwich? I'll pay you in Minecraft diamonds. Kev, listen, I don't play Minecraft enough to know what the, the Minecraft diamond to USD is. I can tell you that if I can't spend Minecraft diamonds on some dumbass shit at Target, I don't want it. Box. No, cane sauce is literally so good. Cane sauce is so good. I kind of want to just go buy like a thing of cane sauce. You can do that, right? You can just go buy cane sauce. Surely. I need to get my hair cut soon. It's so floppy. I, uh, I need to get my hair cut soon. I can cut my own hair. I just have a problem with the back. And I also like, I don't know, getting your hair cut is kind of like a nice experience. Because you get to like chill and they wash your hair. I love when they wash my hair. I want to get my hair dyed too. But so many things. Hello, Ronnie. You can do it with Chick fil A. Eh, I don't want Chick fil A sauce. I don't really, I haven't had Chick fil A enough times to really care about it too much. My buddy taught me how to make it in college because he found the recipe on Google. Oh, I bet any of those sauces you could make, like, pretty easy if you tried. Getting my hair done tomorrow, but it's highlights, so it'll be three to four hours. Yup. It takes a while. I think that's, like, I always get really, like, fussy when people complain about how much it costs to get your hair down. Because it's, like, it takes a fucking long time. In fact, your hair doesn't exist. That's true. The back of my hair is really healthy because I, like, never touch it with hot tools. Why would I need to look good in person? I usually cut my own hair, but I need to find a new stylist for bleaching my hair. Yeah, bleaching hair is tough. That is tough. Especially if you have really dark hair. You have to do it a couple times and then you have to just keep toning it. John was talking about like bleaching his hair like white. And I was like, Bestie, I have been sitting here for 10 minutes while I cut your hair telling about how you can do your taxes. Like teaching him. I had to teach John last night what it means to write things off. So I know for a fact he's not going to be toning his hair once a week. Bleaching red hair is worse. No, I wouldn't say that. Bleaching red hair is like not too bad. Bleaching like black hair, it eats, it's a lot. It's a lot of process. I know, he's, he's on the fast track to getting audited probably. Such good self-care to get my hair colored. Yeah, I need to do it. There's a guy. One of my friends is like a model and she like, I like put out a story and I was like, hey, does anybody know of anybody that cuts hair? And she was like, yes, I know this guy. He's so good. And I went to his Instagram and he was really fucking good. His haircut looked so good. And I went to the website and it was like $700 for like a cut and color. No, $700 for just a cut. No, sorry, $700 for just a color not including the cut and I was like absolutely fucking not I mean he's worth it really good but. how am I still how am I still the same distance away that I was before 
Oh my God, guys, it's 11 minutes by car. How far by walking? I'm calling an Uber. Things have changed. Things have changed for us. Uh, I don't know where the fuck this is. All the shade spots are taken up. You know what? Do you not have a car? I do have a car. But it said it was 10 minutes away. I didn't realize it was 10 minutes away by, 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 by car. I was gonna just walk. 10 minute walk's not bad. Yo, thank you for the sub. Hey Adam, Adam, you want to uh, you want to go to breakfast? Oh, I'm trying to sit somewhere. I have this like posted up on a pole because there's so much sun. Okay. Um. The objective: get Uber. I'm gonna get an Uber. This is becoming this is becoming an adventure. How many eggs Benedicts are we on? Um. Okay. Okay, let me uh, let me call an Uber. Unless Adam wants to come, I'll. Oh, six months in advance, dude. Thank you. It doesn't tell me that on my phone. Fucking Twitch. Um. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's really nice. A hero's journey. Chat loves that shit. Hi. <laughs> Six months is a move. Yeah, you save money. Thank you. Thank you for the six months up. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm calling an Uber. Going to do it. Um, also, another thing that is trash is my phone is old and it overheats if I go outside with it when it's too hot. Okay, confirming my ride. Great. I think I'm gonna get you if you actually want. I just called an Uber, don't worry about it. It's like $7. I think it's like 10, no, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it in the slightest. Um, GTA server is very realistic. Yeah, well, this was, I was just gonna go get a Benedict and everything was gonna be normal. Come on, no, oh, gimbal. I think my gimbal is like uncalibrated. And I'm all sweaty. I wish that there was a bench available. Um, is it is normal even allowed on this stream? No. No, it's not. No, it's not. Mm, not the dancing with the gimbal. Well, if I have this button, then when I hit the button, it like recenters it. But I think it's uncalibrated because when it recenters it, it doesn't recenter it on me. So, okay, my Uber's four minutes away. We're good. I think it's normal. This place is also a prison. Shut up. Um, no, we're not going to Denny's. We're going to a different place. It's going to be awesome. I have deodorant with me, I'm pretty sure. We have battery packs. We have all the stuff. You guys are here. We're good. We're chilling. I'm just a little bit thirsty, and I didn't bring in any water because I didn't think I needed it because I, I was like, oh, the restaurant will have water. Great. Why not Denny's? You guys want to go to fucking Denny's? If you guys want to go to Denny's, we can go to Denny's. But we're not going until late at night and we're getting the Denny's lasagna. We're cooking. Cooking. Um, Gimbal doesn't think you're the main character. No, it doesn't. And I'm wearing jorts today. So suck on that pants industry. Fucking love Denny's. Denny's has, uh, Denny's has crepes and I really like crepes a lot. So, eggs benedict lasagna? Nope. Um, yeah, it's George Wednesday. See, look, George Wednesday. George Wednesday. And it's IRL streams, I don't know what's happening. Do you ever? Do you ever know what's happening? I like Denny's milkshakes. Ooh, yeah, those are good. I don't really do milkshakes too much. Make me feel kind of icky in my tummy. Denny has those tiny shots of milk for free. When I was a kid, whenever I would go out anywhere, and my mom would go somewhere where there was coffee, you know the little cups of like, I don't know what percent it is, that they put on the table in a bowl? <sighs> Loved them. My mom would be like, you can have one. Recluse, thank you for the $5. 
that's basically the Uber. Thank you. Thank you for paying for my Uber. The creamers. Yeah. I used to drink the creamers. Mm -hmm. Probably still would if I wasn't a feral child. I don't get milkshakes too much, but I like to indulge sometimes. Yeah, milkshakes are like, I'm putting myself down for the rest of the day. Like, I'm not gonna feel good after it. Like, emotionally, physically, everything's gonna fall apart. Bro went cat mode. <laughs> Isn't it you're not supposed to give cats milk? My shoulders are so sore. Like, here. Like, oh, It's like hard to like lift my arms like this. I had a, ooh, peach milkshake sounds good. I, you know what? I like just a good old chocolate milkshake. Nothing fancy. I heard that too, they shouldn't have it. And birds, you shouldn't feed the birds bread because it's bad for them. It's like just feeding them, I don't know, like cardboard. Sam's gonna get awoke going IRL streams. This actually, I think most of the IRL streams I've done, there's been like, a tech issue but we've never had like an IRL life issue this is the first IRL life issue which this may be me being optimistic but I think that makes the stream a little bit better if you're just coming in we went to get eggs benedict they are not serving breakfast anymore we tried to go to another place they're not serving breakfast anymore so now we're getting in an uber because I started walking to another place didn't realize it was as far away as it was so now we're ubering to another place it's a whole day I'm lactose intolerant, but we move on. Aren't most people lactose intolerant? It's like more rare to not be lactose intolerant. Does the Uber have eggs Benny? I can ask him. I could ask him where the best egg Benedict is. What time is it? Almost two. So, you know, it's kind of on me for assuming that places serve breakfast until, you know, whenever. We literally shouldn't be drinking milk. I mean, think about it. like. The purpose of milk is to turn like a tiny baby cow into a giant bovine creature. And so, why, you know what I mean? We should put that in our bodies. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Uber back to my car too. Yep. Milk is supposed to be for babies, but mmm, dairy product. Everything I'm saying doesn't apply to cheese because I love cheese. It's so great. And uh, chocolate milk also kind of slips into the cracks there. I fucking love oat milk. I was saying this on stream the other day. I thought that oat milk was for lactose intolerant babies. I thought that people drank oat milk because they didn't want to have animal products. And I was like, what the fuck is that shit? I tried oat milk once in my coffee. I will never drink anything else. It is so good. It is so tasty. It's like so creamy. If I get a coffee without oat milk in it, it's not the same. It's different. It's not the same. It's so good. It's good enough that when I put oat milk in my coffee in the morning, I will um, like take a little sip of it. Mm, good. Vanilla oat milk. Um, I think the oat milk I get is, um, I think it's just like plain oat milk. I get like, I go to the store and I'll get like, uh, like the thing of like coffee like I could just make a fuck ton of coffee and then put it in the fridge but I just go to the store and I buy like the big container of like iced coffee and then I buy oat milk and I think the iced coffee has a little bit of sweetener, sweetener in it I use chocolate oat milk in my coffee instead of creamer that sounds really good Savani oat milk slaps I haven't tried it um just because I've been getting the generic like cheaper one um it comes in a little carton too which I like driver is arriving soon. Okay, I think that they are here. Let me find them. Okay, where are they at? I don't know where. I should probably go find where, like, the parking lot is or something. Supposedly should be staring right at him, but I'm not. Oh wait, is that him? No, it's not him. Uh, nope, it's not him. 
Where the fuck are you, dog? Hold on, Chad. I'm gonna ignore you guys for a second while I try to find my Uber. I'm literally supposedly staring right at him, but I'm not. Can Ubers lie? Can Ubers lie about where they are? Where are you? Hmm. It's the bus. I Ubered a bus. Um. Interesting. Where are you at, big dog? I'm standing in front of like the one thing that you could like park by. Also, I know exactly what kind of car he has. Oh, is that it maybe? It's really dusty to be an Uber. Where the fuck is he? Genuinely don't know. I'm at the bus stop. Like you think homie could pull up at the bus stop. Where? I'm like supposedly like right near him. Like it says that I'm like right next to him. Maybe I should call him. I don't know. Look up. <laughs> I think he's in the sky. Um, so what do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know. Like, where is he? It says I'm standing, like, right next to him. Where are you? Call him maybe? I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna call him. Wish me luck. What if he's actually in the parking garage? I, where, I'm outside, I don't know where you are. Where are you waiting? Right outside the parking garage? I'm standing outside the parking garage, like on the corner of the street. I'm outside. I guess think, uh, um, okay, I see you. Yeah. We got it, chat. We got it. I sorry about it. No, you're good. You choked inside. The well, I, I, for yeah. me, it was like you're right next to me, but I didn't see you. Do you know like a good place to get eggs Benedict in town? I don't know this area actually. Oh, okay. I'm not with it. Got it. Okay. No worries. I just dropped someone.
seems like a normal thing I would say. Can you do the rocket again now? Not for free. <laughs> rocket is very slow. I haven't been able to keep up. I haven't been able to keep up. I'm trying my best. Not for free. CT, thank you for the gift itself. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Say some erotic audiobook. Thank, thank you for the five gifts. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Just making sure my content in the background. It was freezing. <laughs> Mick, please. Please. I miss my 17 Lisa. No, you guys are just saying shit. Dude's gonna ask what the fuck you're doing there, maybe. What the freak am I watching? Just a little live stream. Twitch.tv slash Caprice and Poppy. Insufferable. Thank you for the gift and sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. This missed my recent, it was like an hour ago. Okay, but okay, I'm gonna scroll back and if I don't see it, then I'm gonna be pissed. 133, 133, 133, 133. I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it. I think you're, I think you're fibbing, I think you're lying. Strike out again, or are we just getting in the Uber to head over? We're getting in the Uber to head over, yeah, we're good. We're good, unless we're not good, we'll see. So, thank you for the gifted sub. It's like English muffin with, uh, sometimes there's like meat and then it's got like an egg on top. It's really good. Very tasty. God, I see monster. <laughs> Talking to yourself in the back of the Uber is definitely not the <laughs> You know, surprisingly in Los Angeles, probably not. Probably not. Mm-hmm. Poached eggs with hollandaise sauce on an English muffin. Yeah, literally. Thank you, Hannah, for reminding me to get an extra hollandaise sauce, though, because I would forget. I really would. Cool. Yep, cool. Very cool. No biggie. They're just way just letting you know. I didn't see it. Can't get rid of me then. So... Please, I beg. I forgot to take a picture. True! Also that. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Gotta do that. Hi, Chloe. How's it going? How are you? Can I get a gravy bone sauce? <laughs> Yo, can I get some eggs benedict to dip in my hollandaise sauce, please? Do you guys know those things you put on the table for water? Can I get one of those for hollandaise sauce? Can we get a bloom and onion? Nope. Don't forget an eggs bunny. Can I get an eggs benedict with extra hollandaise sauce? Uh, skip the eggs benedict. I would probably drink hollandaise sauce. It's good. A glass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, nachos, but replace the queso with hollandaise sauce. Ooh, that's a move, kind of. That wouldn't be terrible. I guess. Can I get a round of creamer for my Can I get a shot of creamer? I'm just feeling comfortable doing Uber rides. Not me. Not for a second. Should I do an AMA? But not for me.
It was supposed to say give. Yep, do it. Better give five stars, Uber. No, not, not ASL. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have a breakfast food? That's what brings it to LA. So do you live in LA or are you do, sure. do you, do you live in LA? Yeah. You do? Okay, cool. How long have you been Uber driving? Six months now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have you listened to the Jonas Brothers? No. No? no. Oh, I've been thinking about the Jonas Brothers today a lot. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a big day for me. They live in here? Do they live here? You? No. I, I don't know. No idea. Just throw it? Just what? Just throw it? Yeah. 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 Just United States or other yeah. countries? No, no. Well, I mean, I'd like to go to other countries, but... I uh, would just start in the United States, you know, stay local. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's been hot lately. Is that it? Nice. Nice. Cool. Thank you. You should listen to uh, the song Burning Up by the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. He won't. He, that's not going to happen. Okay. Oh, we have to sit inside. I'm going to feel like an asshole. No, it's fine. It's not going to be good. Okay. Here we go. I'm going ahead. Hi. Are you guys still serving? Just one. Anywhere? It's different than all of the other vibes of places that we've been so far, so I'm excited. Yeah, Mason, it's blocked out for me, so I don't know what you could have possibly said. Do you guys think the Uber, the Uber driver's going to listen to Jonas Brothers? Do you think he's just going to blow me off? He wouldn't really seem like he was very interested. Yeah, I'm at Cracker Barrel. Space Kid? Good point. Good point. Sweaty, sweaty. He's gonna become a super fan. He asked. He asked if I was traveling, and I thought that he asked if the Jonas Brothers were in LA. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck they are. And then he was like, asking me if I was like traveling to different countries. And I was like, oh, okay, got it. Have you considered not sweating, just absorbing it back into my body? I know he's already ordered some Jonas Brother vinyl. Yeah. I didn't understand. He looked like a guy that might listen to the Jonas Brothers. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Um, I'm trying to find uh, eggs Benedict on the menu. Um, well, no, but it's not that. It, it would have been a big ass Guys, we may have a problem. I'm realizing that he handed me the lunch menu. Um, and the lunch menu does not have. Uh, does not have breakfast food on it. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask if they're still serving breakfast. <laughs> and if they're not, 
Yeah. We might end up in Denny's. <laughs> Just eat at this point? That's not the point of the stream. The point of the stream is that we get eggs for him. What if they don't do breakfast? I don't see any breakfast on here. It says lunch. Guys, what if, okay. If they don't have breakfast, what do I do? Do I find another place? Denny's? <laughs> Let's see if there's a Denny's nearby. <laughs> Uh, let's see if there's a Denny's nearby. Surely we should try one more spot. You know, make eggs Benedict there. Denny's. Okay, so there's a Denny's nearby. So we can. Uh huh. Last spot, best spot, original pancake sauce. Let me just type in. Hold on, we'll do some searching here. I'm gonna ask because maybe they do still have it. It is two o'clock, so things are things are a muck. Hi, do you guys still serve breakfast? We stopped serving breakfast at three. Oh, we stopped serving breakfast at three. It's two eighteen. There might be hope. There might be hope. We stopped serving breakfast at three. Pause. Gamma. Maybe. I think he went away to get the breakfast menu. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, uh, water would be great. Do you guys do like a white mocha? Like yeah. A mocha? Uh, yeah, can you do like an ice mocha? Yeah, thank you. Guys, good news. We have a breakfast menu. We're saved. We have a breakfast menu in our grasp. We're having breakfast, boys. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Abby isn't getting banned. Abby and Adam are both just like. <laughs> asking about the jokes. <laughs> Should I? This we're so bad. We're so bad. I almost like don't want to sit here though. They're freaking the fuck out right now. I'm actually gonna move. I just don't. This lighting is no annoying, and also I don't like sitting by the window. No, I'm gonna move. Okay, that's better. I just don't like being right by the window. He's gonna come back and be like, where the fuck did she go? It was a little bright. I like this vibe. It was just like, like it was really bright. I don't know, like the building right outside was like really white and it was bright. And I'm uh, lame and I was like, didn't like the lighting. I don't know. It's, yeah, it probably did sound better. I think the acoustics in there were. I moved. Sorry. Thank you. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking too, Therese, is there was like people in the background, which like. I don't know. I you kind of have to not care as a streamer a little bit, which feels bad. But also, if I can prevent people being in my stream and whatever, like I don't know. Musical chairs with the waiter. I know. <laughs> he set my water down really hard too. I don't know if that was on an accident or what. I don't know. How many eggs Benedicts are we? Uh, any good ones? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Oh, I have to look at them. Um, so they have the classic Eggs Benedict, they have the smoked salmon, which I'm not going to get, spicy chorizo, which I'm not going to get, and then lobster, which I'm not going to get. So I think I'm just going to do the classic. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm just going to do the classic one. That'll be good. That will be good. I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we did it. I thought that it would take so much more effort than it did. Do they have a Happy Meal? Nope. They sure don't. Bob 
lobster with eggs. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. I like lobster as much as the next guy, but I'm not trying to have it on an Eggs Benedict. We should add one new part to the routine each week. So starting with one, we also have to ask if the Jonas Brothers so we have done. So what was what, what did we already have? So now we have to incorporate the Jonas Brothers in our stream in some capacity. And then what did we have before that? Every meal is a happy meal when you're hungry. Me opening a restaurant that serves toys with the meals so that adults can have happy meals. Thoughts? You know what? I think that this is the best that we're gonna get, gamers. Um. You are Hannah Montana. We had to get a picture of the food, ask for extra sauce. Okay, yes. Ask for extra sauce, get a picture of the food. Because we didn't get a picture of the food last time, so we're already fucked. Did Oregon have good seafood? Yeah, it did. It did. There was a lot, like on the Oregon coast, there's a lot of, especially like clam chowder. There's a lot of clam chowder restaurants. So. Why am I Hannah Montana? What, what made me Hannah Montana? Okay, I'm gonna try this coffee. So the coffee's in like a cup like this. It looks pretty good. Give it a shot. Um, love chowder and a bread bowl. Oh, me too, for sure. I love a bread bowl. Ooh, ooh, yummy. I think the general rule is if you go anywhere near the coast, you can get pretty decent seafood. Yeah, it's true. Um, you can also get really good saltwater taffy, which is weird because they don't use ocean water, so I don't know why they call it saltwater taffy. No idea. The bean water. It's good. Yeah, it's very good. It's, uh, it's just like, usually if they do like default mochas, it's just like chocolate. Hi, potion. Fish. Yeah, shellfish is a really common allergy for a lot of people. Is it really a funny? I'm starting to go, mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. 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 Tasty. It's good. Um, anybody else enjoying breakfast or lunch right now? What do you guys plan for the rest of the day? I, uh, I might stream later. I also, so I started writing that script for, um, I started writing that script for the YouTube video that we talked about, the, uh, the aliens ones, and I'm not shitting you guys. I mean this genuinely. The intro to this YouTube video that I'm writing is the best intro of any of my videos, and I stole it from Arrival, but I'm giving it credit, but me stealing it plays into the narrative. It's so, it is so fucking good. Like, the script is probably one of my favorite scripts I've ever written, and to be honest, I might just like stream Eggs Benedict, hang out, and then just go home and work on YouTube stuff tonight. I don't, I don't know. It, maybe we'll see. I might, I might stream, but I might just work on the YouTube video. I don't know if you guys are cool with that. It's gonna be so good, and I think I'll be able to bust it out pretty quickly because I, there's not a whole lot in this video that I can't film. Like sometimes there's like extra stuff I have to go film, or stuff I have to research, or stuff I have to wait on for other people. But this one's like. All, all pretty good. You do you. All right. Well, you guys won't be mad if I don't stream twice a day. I've been streaming like basically like six days a week lately, like five to six days a week. Which when I moved to LA, I streamed four days a week. Um, but I basically stream almost every day. Like my stream hours were floating anywhere between like sixty and eighty a month. And now, like, I think when I had a week left of the month, I had over 100. Yeah, we're grinding. I'm just, like, I don't have distractions, you know? Like, all I have is, is stream stuff and then, like, some personal life stuff, but, like, not anything in my personal life that's, like, taking away from stream stuff, you know? Hannah, deal. Deal. How dare you take time off? It's funny because I'm like, guys, can I take the night off when I'm literally streaming right now? <laughs> like, guys, do you mind if I have the night? That's like when I say I'm taking the night off, it actually just means I'm working on other things. So like, I don't 
remember the last time I took a day off that I did nothing content creation related. I don't remember. I genuinely don't remember. And I love it that way. I want to make this very clear. I love it that way. Like, I love my job. But I don't remember the last time that I was like, okay, I'm not going to stream. I'm not going to do any streaming stuff. I'm not going to touch my computer other than if I want a game. So that's why I'm taking a week off at the end of this month. I'm going to take a week off at the end of the month and uh, just hang. Yeah, Caitlin, exactly. Caitlin, will you make a LA trip, please? Last time you had planned to do that, you ended up getting on Lord Blarney. <laughs> I know, that's true. It's like all those fails go on the alt account. Yeah, Sim, that's true. And also, the 350 changed there. I do feel better. Um, oh, by the way, guys, um, two things. The first thing is I announced on Twitter who the guest of The Witching Hour is gonna be. And I was gonna announce it on stream, but then I forgot that I was doing this. So, the guest of The Witching Hour, which is gonna be Saturday, this Saturday, is uh, Datoon. Datoon's gonna be the guest. Hi. Good. Um, I'm gonna get the, the Eggs Benedict. Oh, it's over here. Just the, the, eggs, the classic Eggs Benedict. Can I get an extra holiday sauce? And that's it. Thank you. We're all crashing on your couch. All right. So yeah, we're, we're having to tune on the wishing hour and it's gonna be really fun. I'm excited. Um, we have a lot of cool things to talk about. I, I know to tune well enough to be really comfortable talking to him. Um, and also, so, um, oh God damn it. Uh, yo, Chox, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so, um, the way that this is gonna work, which I kind of described it earlier, is I'm starting up a Patreon for The Witching Hour, and I'm going to live stream the episode with Datoon on Saturday. After the live stream is over, I'm going to unlist the video, so there will be no VOD. The VOD will go on the Patreon almost immediately, and then after the live stream is cut, I'm going to spend an extra 30 minutes with Datoon um, asking him questions that you guys submit. So, if you are a Patreon subscriber, which I, I haven't linked anything yet, I'll link it to you guys ASAP. Um, if you want to be a Patreon subscriber, it's $5 a month. Um, you will have access to the bonus Switching Hour content. Um, you'll have access to the VOD immediately. But if you don't subscribe to the Patreon, you can still watch the Witching Hour live. And then after about a week, you'll be able to watch the Witching Hour episode on the YouTube channel. So you don't have to pay for the Witching Hour, but if you do want to pay $5 a month, you'll get a little bit extra. So. And I totally understand if you guys want to watch the first. I know a lot of you didn't watch The Witching Hour, so you don't know what it is. Um, if you guys want to watch this first episode and decide if that's something that you want to pay for, uh, that's totally fine, and that's what I would probably do. And I'm not going to have tiers on the Patreon because I don't know what to add for the tiers, so it's all going to be $5. So it's $5, that's, that's what you get. So I'll send out a Google Doc. All right. Somebody is gonna make a montage of all the times that I do this. There's an old lady looking at me. She's standing outside the restaurant. There we go. Well, thank you for the $50. I really appreciate that. That's 10 subscriptions to the Patreon. Wow. Breakfast and lunchtime paid for, and the Ubers. Do you know what time the witching hour? 7.30, thank you for asking, 7.30. Um, 7.30, I will remind the fuck out of you guys because I really want everybody to come because I'm working a lot, like I, I bought a whole set, I'm setting up a whole set for it, I borrowed, I, ha I got a new interface, I bought new mics, I bought, like, thankfully I can write all this stuff off, but I have 
basically bought a whole set for the witching hour. Um, no tear for Sam Rocket, no. Um, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna have multiple camera angles. That'd be awesome. Um, and then, um, and then also, not in addition, but just side note, uh, Jarvis posted a new YouTube video, which um, I helped him on. Um, I helped him make that video, which it's doing really well. It's number two trending on YouTube right now. Um, he sent me a screenshot today, which is really cool. That's really cool to have your video trending on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it was, it was number two trending. It was a, it's a video about the metaverse, like Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse, and basically I went over to his house like every couple days and we would sit in our Oculus headsets and we would like explore the metaverse. So, good video. Um, it sounds busy. It's not super busy. I would say it's about at 50% capacity. I love the witching hour was the thing you were doing when I started watching your streams. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, I love doing interview content, like podcasty stuff. It's the kind of content that I like to listen to. So like if I knew, I don't, I don't know. And please help me because I know I'm wrong. I know of other people that do podcasts. Like there's Sad Boys podcast, there's The Yard, there's, um, who else am I forgetting? There's lots of other podcasts that are great. Um, those are all filmed offline, not live, and then um, there's people that do interview type stuff, like Moms the Host used to do it, Dr. K does it, but I don't know of any Twitch streamers that do live podcasts in person. Wine about it, fear and yeah, yeah. Wine about it, and fear and. I don't think either of them do those live though, do they? Tom, it's the uh, I think it's Yoshi's Island. I've always gotten a weird vibe from the metaverse. You should watch the video. It's very good. It's very funny too. Fresh and fit pod has to exist. I don't know that one. Um, what about it used to do it live but not anymore? I can understand why people wouldn't do it live because if you want to get personal with somebody, if you're doing it live, you kind of have to tread that like, um, I don't want to accidentally ask them something and have them be like, oh, I don't want to answer that live. But I think that I'll, I'm good at it. When I was doing the podcast before, and also when I invite the guests to be on, um, what I do is I send them out a Google Doc and it basically says like, what are your boundaries? because I want to be able to poke people and I want to be able to ask them questions that are a little bit uh, hard to answer, but I don't want to cross anybody's boundaries and I also don't want somebody to not tell me that I'm crossing a boundary. So I will send them a Google Doc out that's basically like, what do you not want to talk about? It's like, I don't want to talk about my partner, I don't want to talk about my job, I don't want to talk about my where I went to college, like those kinds of things. Um, and then I also ask them about things that they don't get to talk about very often that they'd like to talk about, which is fun. Um, yeah, Fresh and Fit is terrible, is it? My Twitch app just died. I thought the chat was just dead and I realized that my Twitch app just fucking died. Um, hi, West Coast. I was like, they haven't talked to me for like seven minutes. Fresh and Fit, more like fucking Fit. I've never heard of it, who, who does it? It's gotta be somebody that I know. Um, H3, H3's good. I like H3. I have um, like a couple friends that work for the H3 podcast and I love them. We got raided once by Ian, who works there. And then Sam is another friend of mine. Um, this alpha male dude saying the sexist shit. Okay, well, let me find it. Fresh and fit podcasts. I bet I'll recognize their faces. Oh yeah. Have I seen TikToks of these guys? Oh, a safe word is actually a really good idea. I don't know if you were joking or not, but a safe word is a really good idea. I do like that. Um, me and my ex, I'll tell you this right now because it's not relevant anymore. Um, me and my ex used to have this phrase, which you can steal this if you want. I think that this is actually pretty genius. And if 
if one of us wanted to hint to the other one, like, it was almost like a safe word in the, like, I can't talk about that. Like, if I was, if we were on the phone to each other, if we were on the phone to each other, and I asked him a question that he couldn't answer because he was, like, with somebody that he couldn't say it in front of, we would say nothing in particular, because that's a phrase that you maybe won't use naturally, but will work in any situation. So, like, uh... That was just our cue for like, I can't say anything, or like, shush, or like, stop what you're doing. Um, be like, nothing in particular. Because you can, you can use it as an answer to pretty much anything. Um, but, there is a lot of other phrases you can use like that. That's a good one. That's a good one to use. If you have a partner and you like, need a word of like, stop, like, don't ask me that right now. You know, sometimes people are... Thank you for picking notes. Posted a pic of Ian and Sam, and they were my two favorites. Yes, they're really, really great. I really enjoyed um, hanging out with them. I uh, I see them every once in a while because they're mutuals with like a couple of my mutuals. Um, also, oh man, I thank you for the prime. Thank you for using your prime on the channel. I appreciate that. Um, new Nakey Jakey video. This is big. New uh, Jarvis Johnson video. This is big. My friends are thriving. Um, I, I texted Jakey because I, whenever Jakey posts a video, I will watch it about halfway through and then I'll go sit down at my computer to work on whatever video I'm working on because like I, like Jakey's awesome, he's a good friend, but I am a fan of his videos. I love his videos. And so like whenever I see the videos, I will be like, fuck, I want to go make a video. Like the, I love YouTube videos. Um, Nick, thank you for giving the join to uh, Haley. She she appreciates that very much. Wherever she may be, none of Jakey's videos miss. No, and they're so unique, dude. They're like like they're so they're so like they just you just know like I don't know. Have you seen the, the elephant stuffed animal that couples buy where if one of them wants to talk about the elephant in the room, they set it out so the other person knows they want to talk? No, that's cute though. What do you think about that? Is that weird or is that cute? I unironically love the idea of talking sticks when you're having interactions with people because that is an issue a lot of times. Hold on, sorry, I'm trying to like, what kind of thing? It's my phone is at a weird angle and I can't. It was a chart, okay. They don't need to monetize it. <laughs> it's a good idea, but they don't need to monetize it. <laughs> Um, that's cute though. I feel super passive aggressive, but I like the talking sticks thing. It's like, I know we had like a relationship conversation the other day on stream, but like, it is so important to, like, if anything, if you get anything right, it is so important to have good communication and be able to say, like, have a conversation about maybe some point of contention without it turning into a fight, you know? Like, if you feel uncomfortable to approach your partner about something, that's, you, you have to have tools, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, Caitlin, I think it's a good idea. I do actually really like it. I think it's cute. And every, like, different things work for different people. But, um, but you should have, like, a routine that you can slide into if you need to. And one of those routines should be, hey, this happens, can we talk about it? People talking sticks are helpful if you're like me and you talk over people without meaning to. I struggle with that. Um, I struggle really hard with waiting to talk, and I don't mean to. I think it's an ADHD thing where it's like I really struggle. I'm afraid that if I don't say what I need to say right when I think of it, I'm not going to get the chance. And because of that, I like will interrupt people. Or I think that sometimes I think that people's brains work the same that I do. So it's like if I'm having a conversation with somebody and I'm talking and they interject just to add on to what I'm saying, not like a whole sentence, but just like a little phrase, I can do that. I can like absorb that while I'm talking, but other people don't work like that. So if they're talking and I interject a little comment, that derails them or that is rude. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? If it's a way for people to just sound, say how they feel in a space with no judgment, that's cool. Uh huh. Also cute. I talk over people, such a bad habit. 
I'm getting more conscious of it. I'm also realizing, like, one thing I've had to kind of try to realize to get better at it is if I have something to contribute to a conversation and the conversation moves past it and I don't get to contribute that thing, I can always say, going back to the point we were talking about before, like, I can always roll back or I won't die if I don't say that thing. You know what I mean? Like, if I don't make that point, I'm not gonna die. I've done that during D&D and I feel so bad when I notice that I did it. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a communication style, you know? It's, did miss the egg? No, we didn't. We didn't. We're, we're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. <laughs> that is true, I always talk over you guys. I talk over you guys, I ignore what you guys are saying. Sometimes I fixate on something I want to say only to realize that it wasn't that important. That's what it is, is like sometimes I feel like the thing that I have to say is the most important thing, and it's not, that's not the case, it's not, like, that's not what it is. I'm moving you back a little bit. You even talked over a rival movie? I've used Discord on my phone so many times and I couldn't figure out how to mute. Like when I was in a Discord call, like Discord, I could not figure out how to mute myself, so I just left. Um, can you put Subway Surfers on and board? <laughs> yeah, sure. What's the Eggs Benedict to beat so far? We've only done two places. I think the... Uh, I think the second place was better, but honestly, I think the Eggs Benedict to be has been, as to be determined. I haven't had one yet that's been like, yeah, this is fucking great, so we'll see. He asked for paper and crayons. Yeah, why would they not hand that out for adults? Normalize giving toys with adult meals and normalize giving adults crayons at meals. I don't know. I don't understand why that's a big deal. They did it at the Stream Rewards. Sometimes I'll add on to something even five minutes later when it's no longer relevant. Yeah, which is like... It's funny. I didn't, uh, I didn't ask if chat eats for free. No. Um, Arrival was a good movie, though. It was a good movie. It's a good movie, and the plot is... Interesting. Cutie is just built different. She is... I didn't realize, and I don't mean this in a mean way, I didn't realize that streamer camp was done. Somebody mentioned that to me yesterday. I didn't realize that it had concluded. Um, and I still don't know who won. Does anybody know which team won? I, I don't have any idea. Talking helps me think, which is not the best. Chats under a certain CCV, eat free units, it's double, yeah. Forever made a lot more sense the second time seeing it. It did. It did. Really good. I, uh, you know the kangaroo part of Arrival where she makes the lie about the kangaroo origin? I included that in my script and then I'm writing. Cutie's team won. Oh, cool. That's good. We love that. I think she picked a good team. I only watched the family food, and that's because I answered the Google sheet she sent out. Oh, that's fun. They did a lot of big stuff. Like, they did a lot of stuff on, on the streamer camp. It seems like they had a lot of fun. I, uh, I am, am happy. I'm happy for the people that were in it. It's cool. Cool stuff. Huh. Does that make us racist? What do you mean? Because we were team cutie? <laughs> I can't believe she said that. She was like, what did she say? She's like, my team, why did I pick all the white people or something like that for her team? Silly goose. I keep getting excited every time I see a plate of food. Ooh, thank you. Hot plate. Thank you. Thank you. That was my food. Going to show you guys. This is what we're working with. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Um, okay. 
and eggs benedict. We, I don't think they gave me an extra side of hollandaise sauce. I think they just put the extra hollandaise sauce on it. The potatoes look weird. I'm not gonna lie, they're very small. Um, I'm gonna ask for ketchup. I'm kind of predicting the potatoes to be not great, but we'll see. But this looks good. It's got a big old slab of ham on it. There's a good amount of hollandaise sauce. The eggs look good. We've got three, I think, three eggs, which is the first time we've ever had three eggs. So. For that. Um, the plate is also very hot. Home fries are either overcooked or perfect. Yeah, they could be really good. I'm gonna ask for ketchup though. So it's promising. It does look promising. I think they put the extra hollandaise sauce on it. The plate is hot as fuck. It's very hot. Can I get some ketchup? Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to let you guys see while I cut the egg open. Okay. 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 That egg is fucking cooked, I'll tell you what. Okay, so the egg is cooked, like entirely. It is not wet at all. That is, that is a cooked fucking egg. <laughs> not ready at all whatsoever. <laughs> not ready at all. The, pota the potatoes. Okay, here's my here's my thoughts, chat. Here's my thoughts. Hold on, I'm tipping you guys back up. Um, my thoughts are. I forgot to take a picture of it. Damn it. I don't think it'll matter. Um, the plate. The plate is like really hot. And so I think they probably cooked it. I think they still probably overcooked it, but they cooked it and then it was like sitting somewhere for an extended period of time and it like cooked more. This is because the eggs are not runny at all. No runniness. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so we're, we're eating this as a uh, not a runny egg meal. The sauce was scorching, it definitely kept cooking them, yeah. yeah. It, uh, the, the plate is also just like really fucking hot, like I can barely touch the plate, so. I think that it was cooked okay, and then I think that it just kept cooking. I don't know, they, maybe they have like a warmer or something that like keeps it hot, because there's no reason for the plate to be this hot. There's literally no reason for the plate to be this hot unless they have it in a warming thing. Should have talked like a food reviewer beforehand. Well, we're about to get a bite. I'm gonna fucking bite. The English muffin is kind of tough. It's kind of tough. Um, but, you know. And again, I'm assuming that the extra hollandaise sauce was just put directly on it because I didn't get extra on the side. Chef better be watching the stream. No, it's gonna not be. I think the most flavorful thing on this Eggs Benedict is the butter that I can taste on the English muffin. Somehow I can taste the butter on the English muffin because nothing else has flavor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, it is, this is a buttery English uh, Eggs Benedict. It's not bad. I'm, not, I'm still gonna eat it. Like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like not eat it. But yeah. I feel like I have hair in it. Not that I found. I'm gonna try the potatoes. I'm not sure how to eat the potatoes though because they're so small. Like they're kind of like croutons. You know, they're like so small that like, I don't know if I dip them in the ketchup, if I like dump the ketchup on them and then just eat them like that. Is there salt and pepper at the table? There is, but I don't think that's gonna help it for some reason. It's not bad, it's just like, it's also, it's, everything is really solid. Like I'm not getting any, everything is very solid on this plate, so. 
Um, yeah, I'm definitely taking bites of things and I'm having to like fork the um, the yolk. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe I should have clarified. I thought that when you get an eggs benedict, the yolk is supposed to be runny because it gets on everything else. Yeah, dude, the butter on the fucking, like, the butter on this English muffin is so, I can taste it so much. It's so buttery, which is delicious. It's a delicious English muffin, but I don't taste anything else. I can't even, the hollandaise sauce is gone. I don't even know where it went. Where the fuck did the hollandaise sauce go? It disappeared. It's like it evaporated. Poached eggs should be runny. There is no, like, look at this. There is no... Like that's, she, she cooked. She cooked. And the side of the ham is really thick too, so like, with everything else I have to like, wait, wait. This is so tragic. Listen, if they were all good, this wouldn't be as fun. If they were all good, it should be more runny. It should be, and the stove was on. She was cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the potatoes. The potatoes are so small, dude. It's like, this is just like hash browns, but different. Okay, potatoes. That is tragic. <laughs> this is this is tragic. <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping that like the potatoes being small was gonna be some sort of like weird thing that I've never tried, but actually it's just potatoes cut up really, really tiny, so they taste like overcooked tiny potatoes. I don't know. It's exactly what you think it would be. It's exactly what you think it would be. The potatoes are cut really tiny. They're chewy because they're cooked. Dude, I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm being kind of dramatic because that's the whole point of this stream, but this is uh, not great. Someone gifted some. <laughs> Listen, you guys, I already, you already paid for my breakfast. This is on you. Check of Aiden is in the kitchen with. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to do. You didn't even give me a recipe. The I love egg. Like I love the flavor of egg. So when I get a big bite of the egg, it's good. But the yolk is not getting on anything else. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Summer, I don't. I'm a hundred percent sure that there's a warmer of some sort, and I, I think that it got cooked, and then I think it got put on the warmer because the plate was scorching hot. And there's no reason for a plate, if, if the food was really hot and then they put it on the plate, um, the edges of the plate wouldn't be hot. But the whole plate itself was roasting. So I know that they, they cooked it, they put it on the plate, and then it just kind of kept cooking. And now it's like dry. Mm. I mean, I think this was like $17, so, I don't know. The fact that you cut the egg and it looked like Play-Doh was so sad, yeah. It's not, definitely not, uh, I don't think there's any world where anybody gets an Eggs Benedict and they want it this cooked. Like, if you want an egg this cooked, you're probably not going to want to get an Eggs Benedict. Mm-mm. I think uh, I think of the places we've gone. This one's uh, yeah, not oh, great. That being said, 
I'm not super picky and I'm happily eating this. Um, I'm not happily, but I'm, I'm eating this and I'm gonna walk away being like, okay, I have a meal in my belly. You know, I, I don't want it to, like if, I, if it was bad, I would just stop eating it. I'd go to fucking Starbies, but um, it's, the, the, also the ham is like really thick. That, that's a pretty chunky piece of ham. So for the whole thing to be this cooked, the ham should not be that thick because it just adds so much to it. Non was almost going to come with me today. Um, and he ended up not coming with me, but I'm kind of glad because we would have heard a lot from him. Oh, did you hear a crunch? That was a crunch. This is making me hungry. The English muffin, the flavor of the English muffin is really good. I think it's just a store-bought English muffin. Um, and I think it's like the, the butter, but... Mm -hmm. An audible crunch. Just a little crunch. Little crunch. I'm bummed because that last place, there was arugula on that one. We'll have to go back to that place because they just look good. A good crunch. You know, I know that, I know that this wasn't the eggs benedict of our dreams, but this was a fun, fun time. My taste doesn't figure out which Olive Garden is Denny's or lasagna. That would be fun. We got to make, um, I wonder if there's anything nearby that's fun to go do. Let me look. I want to take you guys one day on Sunday. There's a flea market. And uh, I really want to go do an IRL stream at the flea market. It's been so hot, but this weekend actually might be doable. Jordan, if they were all good, then it wouldn't be fun. Let me look around and see what's over here. Um, when you guys are looking up things to do, what do you look up? Like, like what do I type into my maps? Like, things to do. Things to do. Activities. Like, what do you type in? Exactly. The lesser bennies will make us more appreciative for the good ones. Exactly. You got it. Nailed it. I don't know, don't go outside. Why? Why? Um, fun activities near me. Activities. Activity. If I type activities in, activities in my map, what happens? Um, it's giving me like yoga studios and tennis courts and spas. An indoor playground. Yeah, that seems like if I went to that, I definitely wouldn't be put on a list. Let me show you a picture of this place. What do you guys think? Should we go? Uh, should we go check it out? It, so it sounds pretty fun. I don't know. Seems like it could be a good time. <laughs> Attractions, thrifting would be fun. I wonder if there's any thrifting around here. You guys want to go thrifting with me if I find a good place? I'm not going to work too hard, but if I find a place... Was that a ball pit? <laughs> I am not allowed to go there. Oh, there's a Goodwill. Awesome. <gasps> okay. There's a Buffalo Exchange down the street. Which is awesome. Is that where you took uh, the dump? Yes, that is where I took the dump. Yes, indeed. I don't know. I might just go home, work on the script, and then, you know, if I make some progress, then I can stream. And if not, whatever. Yeah, Caitlin, we actually exchanged them. So, um, yeah, good. What dump in a ball pit? Guys, I'm not taking a dump in a ball pit. Please, I beg. Don't make me do that, not for content. 
I don't want to get banned. I don't want Dan Clancy to see me taking a dump in a ball pit. Um, hello. Oh, we get a raid? Hold up. Hold up. Um, poetry, thank you for the raid. What's up? How's it going? We are doing Eggs Benedict streams as we do on Wednesdays. We're trying to find the best Eggs Benedict in LA, and I can confidently tell you that it's not this one. Um, but yeah, how was your stream? What did you do? If you ever decided to quit streaming, make that your last stream. <laughs> Take the shit in the pulpit. Yeah, good idea. Go find a zipline to fulfill the stream. <laughs> There was a there was a part in Jarvis's video where he goes on a zip line. Um, I think he put that in there, and I was like, dude, you gotta put the uh, I think you should leave zip line bit. And he was like, ah, we laughed about it. But there was a bunch of little clips of shows that were relevant to things in the videos, and I was like, dude, can you put like can you can you please put this clip in there? Um. Um. I might. You know what I want to do? I was talking to Caitlin about this, um, which I know I need to finish Outer Wilds. I know I need to do that. I understand. I know I'm not forgetting about it. But I'm having a hard time because I feel like we kind of like the momentum went like this and I'm afraid to pick it back up. So I think what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to just do it out of left field. I'll probably like warn you guys. Uh, when I finish Outer Wilds, I think I'm going to finish it on my alt account because... I want to really enjoy it, and I think that it would be better as like a low-key thing. So I think one of these nights I'm going to go live on my alt account and finish Outer Wilds. Um, so yeah. You know what I mean? Just because it's been a while since we've played it, and I don't, it's gonna, I'm having a hard time like, okay, we gotta pick this game up that we haven't played for a month. Um, so I'll let you guys know. I'm not gonna just like randomly decide to go live and finish it. I'll be like, okay, tomorrow I'm doing it. Um, if that's cool. Okay, a zip line. I type in zip line in Google Maps. Uh, okay, now I wanna pay for this. I didn't eat all of it. I didn't eat all of it. Um, uh, I don't know. Not great. We need to do another stream using your other alt. Oh, we should do that. So I have an alt account. I have an alt alt account and it's called, um, I give 69 bits and then leave. I think it's what it's called. It's like, I, I give 69 bits and then leave. And the point is I go into people's streams and I donate Thank you, Cyril. I donate 69 bits and then I leave. And it's really fun to do on stream. Like, you know, I'll stream from the sandwich account, but then I log in on a, another browser and we go around and we donate 69 bits. And it's just, it's really funny. I don't know, it's really funny to do because most people love it because it's totally harmless. Um, didn't someone get mad? Yeah, and all the time I've done it, I've only gotten one person get mad and I think that they just thought I was like a troll. They were just like, which, whatever. Like, you're entitled to get upset about things, but it was like, I think I think maybe we just need to take a step back. Um, but we can do that. If I stream tonight, let's do that. Because we have Minecraft to finish, but I don't want to just power through and like do Minecraft every night. I kind of want to pace myself. So, <laughs> we could do, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna work on my script, and then if I feel like I get a good amount of script work in, we go live and we do the 69 bits and then leave it. Not for very long, we do a short stream. How, is that? How about that? <laughs> well, it's funny because people, they'll always say, no, don't leave, and then I always type, I have to. The thing is though, and you guys have to promise me this, if we do this, you're not allowed to out me. You can't tell anybody because it's really fun for me to go in and do it to people that we know. So like, you guys type one in chat the promise because if we go in and we find streamers that we know or like you guys can give me suggestions for people. Um, but if you go in and you're like, it's sandwich, then it's not fun. But you guys can give me suggestions and then we go in and we do it and we get a laugh and then they never know and it's fun. It's like literally the most harmless prank you could possibly do. Stitches get banned. Okay. 
that's the plan. I'll go home, I'll work on my script, um, and then maybe we'll go live for like a short amount of time and we'll do that. That'll be fun. That'll be fun, it'll be a fun little bit. Um, it's really fun. I've only done it on stream like once or twice. Because uh, if I do it all the time, then it's not fun. So that'll be cool. All right, I'm kind of waiting for my check. Waiting for my check. Um, which is not the exciting part of the stream. It's, it's a very fun time. It's a very fun time. I don't know, I the first time I made it, I was like having like a really bad day and I made the account. I don't even know what made me think about it. I made the account and I literally, I shit you not guys, I was at home by myself. I wasn't even streaming. I was just sitting. I probably spent like $200 in one night just donating people bits and leaving. And I was sitting there and I was cracking up. I was like crying laughing. We did secure the Betty Adam, and it was so tasty. It was so yummy and good. And I will, I will not go here ever again because of how good it was. And I don't want to spoil my first experience of how tasty it is. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, out of all the eggs benedicts in the world, this was one of them. <laughs> Thank you YouTube showed one of the best reactions to a bit donation. Feels like a great algorithm content. I kind of, so I actually recorded it because I thought that it would be, uh, funny. That helped me. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Go earlier, I bet it would be better. That probably could be it too. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's a, always a chance you go somewhere and you just get the off day, right? Like Wednesday at three o'clock for an eggs Benedict. Maybe they don't have the eggs Benedict guy in the kitchen. You know? Maybe it's just not the eggs Benedict guy's shift. Like that was eleven o'clock on a Sunday. <coughs> crack a case I can't I won't do it I've seen I've seen what it does to other people I can't well, I will not I will not crack cases <laughs> just just crack a case real quick just pop one open what I miss so much can I get the check sit in the kitchen and grab the plate before they let it burn on the warmer just to save somebody else it's Benny guy machine broke yeah <laughs> it's like the uh, it's like the ice cream machine at McDonald's. I'm sorry, man. The uh, eggs Benedict chef is actually broken today. 99% of gamblers stop right before they win big. That well, okay. All right. Well, somebody tell Brody he's about to get a knife then, because that's that's got to be bullshit. Don't tell me that before Vegas. I don't think I'm gonna gamble in Vegas. I don't really like gambling that much. I'll probably do blackjack. I do like the little, like when you go to the bars and they have the little like blackjack things. Those are good. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Turn the guys up the ceiling real quick. Um, I should have just handed that right back to him. Uh, you'd make a good gambler. Who makes a good gambler? Who makes a good gambler? You have the skill for it. That's not... In reality, what do you guys think the, like, game is that actually takes the most skill? Like, poker? I would imagine poker. Like, what game do you think actually takes skill? Fortnite. No, not... I mean, Vegas. You... God damn it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> The waiter sounded like me. Um, I'll describe him. He's very tall. Um, do you guys know what the, who the veil is? Do you guys know who the veil is? Like, imagine the veil, but I don't know how tall the veil is, but tall and skinny. And he's got like slicked back hair. That's, how to, that's the only way I can think of to describe him. Store brand Ludwig, right? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Could be, yep. I don't think the- do you think the veil looks like Ludwig? I don't think they look similar. 
I told you guys that Ludwig was like, hey, everybody's told me that I should get my hair cut by you. So then I went and got my hair cut somewhere else. <laughs> and I was like, hi, Steve. Thanks. Tell me more. Please, tell me more. Mm. The coffee was great. I'm not very picky when it comes to coffee, but the coffee was great. I'll say that. Real good. Um, yeah, so. Maybe, maybe we'll get him in the barber chair. One day, we'll see. The thing is, is like I analyze people's haircuts and there's a lot of people that I know I could give them a really good haircut because it's like I know what their hair type is and his hair, I, I know I could, I know I could give him a good haircut. I just know it. Okay, I don't know if they're gonna come take my check. Um, I'm gonna, let's find somebody to rate. If you want to. Who's live? It's three o'clock. It's not that early. Um, there's probably lots of people online. I can't see what you guys are saying. Online. Did you see the story of the woman who won 43 million on a slot machine in the casino? Said it was a machine malfunction and didn't pay it out. Shh. No kidding. That is insane. You know who I want to raid today? This is not somebody that you guys know, but this is a channel that I found recently that I think is so fun. I don't even know if they'll see. God, there's so many people online though that we can raid. There's a um, there's a paleontology Twitch channel where they do IRL streams of dinosaur digs, and it's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, and like that's a channel that I think. Uh, also, Cheebs is online. Um, who else is live? Trey's live. Um, that one guy, Gordon, who did that funny like break the fourth wall clip. The dinos. You guys want to go raid the dinos? I just want to show you guys this channel. Paleontologizing. Let's see if I can spell this right. Wish me luck. Do it. See, yeah, so, okay, so here's the plan. Gamers. I'm going to end stream, because I don't know when they're going to take my check, so whatever. I'm going to end stream. I'm going to go home. I'm going to work on my script for my video. Um, Paleon... Paleontologizing? Paleontologizing. I don't know if I spelled this right. And I can't, oh no, I can't see the raid. Oh no, I can't see the raid message. Oh god. Uh, that doesn't seem right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not it. Um, looks right. There wasn't any like stream photo. Let me find them. There are a few things that I hate more than um, Twitch Mobile when you're streaming. Paleon, paleontologizing. 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 Okay. Okay. Paleontologizing. It was right? Oh, I didn't see it. They're raid. Paleontologizing. Am I getting a raid right now? Is that what's going on? You son of a bitch. Who raided me? Marianne? God damn it. <laughs> Thank you guys for the raid. We're actually also raiding out. Um, we're gonna go raid out and see Paleontologizing, which is a live stream of people looking for dinosaurs. Um, how was your stream though? I haven't hit the button yet. I haven't hit the raid button yet. Hasn't happened yet. Um, raiders, if you like IRL content, I do a lot of IRL content. Every Wednesday I go try to find the best eggs benedict in LA, which is where I live. Um, today was not that place, but we had fun because we went to like three different restaurants because I wake up late and none of them were serving. They were not serving. Um, so that's what we do. We do other IRL content and then later, Tonight, if I get all my shit done, we're going to- thank you. 
Um, if I get all my shit done, we're going to um, do a stream where I use my alt account to donate money and troll them. Um, oh my god, Luxophobia. You didn't read the rules. I said no phobias in this chat. Um, so no Arrival. We already watched Arrival. We watched Arrival. We loved it. You know who said that Arrival isn't a good movie? Somebody that notoriously has bad takes on things. I don't think I need to say who it is. I'm getting, I'm getting my card chat. Hold on. I'm getting my card. I'm gonna walk outside before I hit raid. Okay, here we go. We're going. We're leaving. We're out of here. Oh, I almost forgot my sunglasses. I almost forgot my links. Oh my god. Okay. Um, who? The Jonas Brothers? Nope. Think, uh, think further south. I need to know who. Um, think down under. Brie Larson. No, not Brie Larson. Uh, the food was shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now that we're out here, I can say it. Um, that restaurant was not great. The food was mid at best. Uh, probably won't go back, but, you know. Yeah, nailed it. Space Kid. Okay, we're gonna ra go raid this channel. Uh, it's a cool channel. They do, um, they do cool paleontology shit. I don't know if they'll know that we're rating them because I don't know if they have anybody like manning the camera per se. Um, but we're gonna go head over there. It'll be cool. But anyways, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, if you want to know what's up with the stream, if you wanna know when I'm streaming, uh, join the Discord. I have a notice board section where I let you guys know what's gonna happen. I might stream later. It depends how locked in I get to my script. So keep your eyes on the notice board section. Even if I don't stream, I'll still post something in there. Uh, follow my socials. Witching hour on Saturday, so clear your schedules for 7.30 p.m. It's my live podcast that I host. Um, we've got content coming out the ears right now. This is great. Witching hour. Um, I'll be streaming tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow's Thursday. Uh, tomorrow for sure. We're going to basically just bust our asses until the end of this month because I'm taking a week off the end of the month. So um, yeah, quit your jobs, cancel your weddings. Don't do anything on Saturday. You are stuck with me, buddy. So, oh God. Anyways, chat, um, go hang out with the paleontology. At least take a look. It's a cool channel, whatever. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Um, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye.